What's up guys, Tyler here with Tarver Academy. We're gonna learn some math today. Uh, if you could hit subscribe, you will ace all of your tests. You'll make 100 on every test, it's a guarantee. Maybe. So we're doing a multi-step equation that has parentheses. So try to give this a chance on your own and then we'll work it together. It's seven parentheses, two X minus one, close parentheses, minus 11 equals six plus six X. Give it a shot and then we'll work it together. Okay, here we go. So here's the deal. Whenever you're doing these, you're trying to get X by itself on one side of the equal sign and then your numbers on the other side because we want to figure out what does X equal, okay? Here's the deal. A lot of people mess up here because they don't know what to do with these parentheses. Well, first off, if I can simplify what's inside, I will, but I can't because this is a variable. This doesn't, can't simplify it. What you do then is you look at what's in front of the parentheses. That is like saying you're multiplying everything in here times that number. Most people mess up by just multiplying the seven times the two X. So go get this 14 X uh, minus one. That's where they mess up because you have to do something that rhymes with schmishmibute. That's right, distribute. And you gotta multiply there and there. And if there were more subtractions and stuff inside the parentheses, we'd have to go there too. But we don't, so we do seven times two X, which is 14x, and then seven times negative one, which is negative seven. Don't forget your signs there, guys. Then everything else just comes down, okay? Everything else stayed the same. Now, I can simplify. Before I start going across my equal sign with stuff, I can simplify on one side. So this negative seven minus 11, I can simplify that. What's negative seven minus 11? It's a negative becoming a larger negative, so it's negative 18. Oh, sorry, don't forget my x. Negative 18 equals six plus six x. Now, I wanna get my sixes together, or I'm sorry, I wanna get my x's together on one side and I wanna get my numbers on the other. So let's get our x's together first. So I'm gonna go with the smaller, we got 14x and six x. I'm gonna do the opposite over here to get rid of it. To get rid of six x on this side of the equal sign, I've gotta subtract six x. But you can't do something to one side without doing it to the other. That equals zero, that's canceled out. 14x minus 6x is 8x. Bringing down negative 18, bringing down six. Now I gotta get my numbers over there. I've got my x over here, it's by itself, he's the only x, he's not by itself, but he's the only x over here. So all my numbers gotta go over there. So opposite of subtracting 18, we're gonna add 18 to both sides. I don't know why I did that. That's gonna cancel out, we've got 8x equals 24. Last step, we can't just, don't, don't, do not subtract x, eight from that, okay, that would be wrong. You gotta do the opposite of what's happening. It's eight times x. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Division, that's right. So I felt like Dora the Explorer. What is it? Division. Opposite of multiplication, we gotta divide eight on both sides, that'll cancel it out here, because it becomes one, and then that is three. x equals three. If you want to check that, plug three in here and plug three in here, work it. If that equals that, you did it correct. So there you go, guys. Congratulations. You did it. You learned. You did it. You could do this the whole time. You didn't know it, but you can. So congratulations. Y'all be good. Stay sweet. Subscribe, maybe. Hey, what's up? If that helped at all, Please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. I'm just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.